her chart-topping independent albums demonstrate that sisters can truly do it for themselves. Let's meet her. I am, I'm an artist. I'm a mother of four. <laughs> I'm a wife, I'm an author. I am a person who's just excited about life. That's what I would say about myself. I am Lisa Noel Smith. The Brown Singers, my, the family group, you know, it's my family. Uh, they were going through a tr transition. There were some members that were leaving and I was about nine years old. I told my grandmother, I was like, I, I can do this. I can sing. She's like, girl, you too little, you can't sing. I'm like, granny, yes I can. And I could hold my part. I had, my mom was a stickler. She's like Joe Jackson. If you were gonna sing in the, in the car, if we was gonna sing, you know, uh, how I got over, we gotta do it in three parts. Don't sing my voice. So I knew that I could do it. And and um, I started singing, and yeah, lo and behold, I could hold my soprano note, and here I am, a nine-year-old little girl with all these women, and I was holding it down. And then three years later, the main lead singer, her mom passed, um, and she said, well, I, I don't want to do it. I want to focus on family. And I told my grandmama, I could do it. She's like, no, you can't. You're 12 years old. You can't do it. So I waited. We were in Humboldt, Tennessee. I waited just as good until it would be a hot moment, and Granny would come and take over, and I just shot out there. I just took it and just, you know, and from that moment, I was the lead singer of this group at 12 years old. Here I am, this family that started in the 70s. It's the 90s now and music is changing and, you know, I'm learning all types of music. I've begun to just take it and run with it. And um, it was it was amazing because I guess in kind of, a lot of people in the quartet genre of music were saying, there's no way possible this little girl can carry this group because it's a big responsibility. Because when it's ministry, sometimes, you know, we, we are supposed to be singing about something that we know about. And at 12, there was not really much that I knew, but I did know who Jesus was. I did know what ministry was, and I knew that what came from my heart would reach the heart. For me, I'm really big on loyalty. And uh, there were some things that my grandmother wanted to see that I wanted to stay and see those things happen in her lifetime. Um, you know, like us winning a stellar award and those things my grandmother envisioned for this group in the 70s. Here I am now, an, an adult, and I've done this my whole life. I wanted to see that come into manifestation for her. So transitioning was hard, but at the same time, I understand that, you know, there is so much more than just that out there. There's generations of children who won't know anything about, you know, the Brown Singers years from now unless they Google us because that the, the way music is changing, the way gospel, the way ministry, it's all changing now. Where we used to do it in just church, now we can do it anywhere and reach multiple people because of social media and because of all those things. So the transition for me has been really eye-opening and, um, I, I want to say hard, but not really hard. It's just having to let go of what I've done for 20 plus years and accepting that, there, that there's a greater call um, on my life. excited because I just released my first single uh, called Great Big God and I'm looking to release my first record EP uh, this summer and it's really kind of like a journey into me as a solo artist. Uh, for years I've been with the Brown Singers, with the family, 26 years to be exact, and now finally getting the opportunity to stand out on my own and do my own thing. Uh, I think you can look forward to fun, and I'm gonna be church because that's what I do. I like to I like to have that head swinging, head banging, sweat a little bit, but just not too much kind of church. As a female, um, 
coming up in the music industry, especially gospel, I think it's it's very important to kind of just know who you are and what you have to offer. And I, of course, you know, we've looked up to the greats, you know, Yolanda Adams, Pastor Caesar, oh my God, the list can go on and on, LaShawn Pace, Vicki Winans, who have had successful careers and they've done it and stayed afloat for years, stayed on top. And now, you know, the, the music industry, it goes up and it goes down. But I think that the important thing is to have a model that you follow. Uh, there's certain things as women that we just have to do. You have to stay classy. You have to stay true to who you are. You have to know, we have to know our role and know our place. And I think in ministry for me, like I'm a wife and a mother, I put that in the forefront of my life, that I really have a real life, that I'm really a real mom, I'm really a real wife, I'm a normal person outside of being an artist. And I think uh, that on, will, in our music, it will translate, that people can relate to us, that we're relatable. And, you know, we have to stay on top of uh, making sure that, that we're touchable, that we're lovable. Um, that, to me, translates, tr translates very well with people when you're talking to them and when you're loving on them and when you're taking pictures and even when you're on stage. Um, and I think, you know, musically, I still believe, now I don't know if it's true, but I still believe that women, we, we still reigning on the throne. I think we're gonna have a little bit of all of that along with uh, just encouragement and inspiration. I'm kind of living for uh, inspiring women. I started my first retreat and I did it a couple of years ago called the Loving Me Again Retreat. And it's really centered towards uh, women loving themselves. That before, people mirror how you love your own self. So I think if we could teach our generation, I have a 15 year old daughter, I have to teach her that you gotta love you first. Before anybody else can love you properly, you gotta love you. So uh, God put that on my heart and I'm gonna release this music and we are gonna do this retreat and I can tell you, I'm gonna continue to always do music because it's in my heart from a little girl. That's all I've ever wanted to do. So I'm gonna continue to make music, do music, hopefully travel and see the world and uh, be an inspiration, a beacon of light to somebody who's saying, you know, how can I do this? How can I juggle all of these responsibilities and still live my dreams? It's possible. Um, it's possible if you prioritize your life, if you set some goals, if you put God first, you can do anything.